Year Three, The Rule of Royal W. From the Journal of Royal W, Squad Leader of The Static Paints, Spring, Year 141. When I heard about the Fortress of Syrup Leaf being planned, I was excited to migrate there in order to help expand our grand civilization. Little did I know that moving from the warmth of the mountain homes would be the biggest and perhaps last mistake of my life. Shortly after arriving, with little more than the clothes on my back, I heard the alarm from our leader, Vox Nihili, that the spawn were coming. I'd only heard stories of the great dark detective, but I'd always dismissed them as fairy tales, told to keep the short-bearded children in line. How I wish that were true. I had not even been at Syrup Leaf for a season when the call came out for new dwarves to report for military duty. I'd been drafted. We were standing at the gate, ready to charge the invaders, likely to die for the fortress and mountain home, when a mason suddenly rushes in front of us and builds a wall in the main hall. Great! <laughs> Instead of dying a brutal but possibly quick death at the hands of these warped abominations who once called themselves dwarves, we were to slowly starve, subsisting on the meager rations that we'd brought with us. Suddenly, as if by divine providence, we heard reports that the spawn had left the area. Perhaps they'd forgotten us. More likely, they left to bide their time until we exposed our weaknesses again. Siege has ended. Vox, stricken with the gravity of the situation, confided in me that he was no longer fit to lead the fortress, and asked that I take over our squad, as well as the position of overseer. I reluctantly accepted the post. The fate of Syrup Leaf now rests on my bearded head. I immediately set to work, taking stock of our meager supplies, when I find an unsettling task being carried out. Knowing full well our food shortage and the lack of farming and fishing, one of our cooks has taken it upon himself to take what little food we have, three at a time, and fashion it into lavish feasts that only one dwarf can eat. I put a stop to that. Journal of Royal W, Squadron Leader, The Static Paints, Late Spring 140. I've taken steps to retrieve our wood, which, in the haste to protect us from the spawn, was walled away. I've also constructed a trade depot atop our wood pile, in the hopes that some traders will find their way out to this frigid wasteland. A human caravan from Antath Ekro has arrived. A human guild representative has arrived. Oh, thank Armok. Things were looking grim. We'd run out of meat, and I decided to slaughter some puppies as insurance. Alas, that seemed to be an unnecessary waste of future war dogs, since the humans brought with them a vast collection of meats and cheeses. Finally, near the end of spring, we had some migrants arrive and settle in. I dedicated our miners' time to expanding our magma tunnels in an effort to increase the ice melting from the spring up north. This means that our new residents are temporarily homeless. However, water has begun to flow, so I will resume work on some of Vox's planned excavation. So in spring 140 in Syrup Leaf, from a bleak beginning looking at our fates in the decrepit faces of the spawn of Holistic, to a summer solstice that brings us hope, let's see how long it lasts. Journal of Royal W, Squad Commander, The Static Paints, and Syrup Leaf Overseer Pro Tem. Summer 140. This summer was definitely less eventful than spring was. After surviving the encounter with the holistic spawn, we decided to double our efforts, expanding our fortress. I've ordered excavation of a grand dining hall to commemorate dwarven endurance. The pride of the hall will be a golden well, which will tap directly into our cistern. Also, on that note, expanding the magma base beneath the spring has had amazing results. What was once a trickle is fast becoming a torrent, spilling over into our cistern. I believe our water crisis is now over. I've also begun digging near our canal, preparing to create some mud for our farmers to work. I leave this summer feeling much better about our fates than when it began. 
Also, in an omen to our future, life has found a way out here on the edge of this glacial wasteland. Luigi's discount, Miss Merith, elite wrestler, has given birth to a boy. Congratulations, Luigi's discount, and baby Decky. Journal of Royal W, Captain of the Static Paints, Autumn, 140. We started the fall well enough, the siege was over, and things were returning to normal. We'd even been blessed with a new life and some inspiration. Murder mystery Domastigas, the carpenter, has been possessed. They have completed an artifact. Oshmonam Relanurith. Fish paper, the royal scars, a tower cap table. This is a tower cap table. All craft dwarfship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with felsite and encircled with bands of tower cap. On the item is an image of a tall cross in turtle shell. Alas, the good times were not to last. A vile force of darkness has arrived. Another siege. This time, the spawn have returned with a full 20 troops, including two elite wrestlers. It seems as though my predecessor had a good idea in sealing the fort. After much deliberation, I decide we are not yet ready for this threat and I follow in Vox's footsteps. I had no choice but to use some of our precious wood. The beasts were bearing down on us faster than I had seen a creature move. They seemed to be able to hear us through the mountains, waiting for our picks to strike through. Anything we can do to let them in. Even through the siege, life goes on, almost as normal. I've spent the autumn training myself and the paints, and we're quickly becoming a force to be reckoned with. Royal W has become a legendary champion. Hail Royal W. Luigi's Discount and Holistic Detective have also become legendary champions. We've also managed to finish some of our accommodations. And we've finished the farms. We just need to tap our canal to dampen the earth, and we will be fully sustainable. So closes the autumn of 140 in Syrup Leaf. I pray the siege will pass soon, before any traitors or, Armok forbid, migrants arrive to face the horrors of this frozen waste. Here is the dwarf list for all those who are interested. We have Bob the Third, Rixasun, Sewermancer, Manic Mole, Idols, The Deadly Hume, Skaw, Murder Mystery, Hella Turtle, Goose Krieg, Sirocco, That Guy Bob, Gary Khan, I'm Lemon, The Strangest Finch, Spoon Boy, Vox Nihili, Gold Jazz, Draconil, The White Crane, Bobatron, Where Yo Man, Gerblin, Orange Soda, Kurish, Slan, Stelian, Mehuyal, Hankor, Tag Plastic, Dong Attack, Screaming Idiot, Skull Buggy, Luigi's Discount, Holistic Detective, Royal W, Kennel, Lackloss, Joseph Wong KS, Spermy Smurf, Fellblade, and Decky. Screaming Idiot wrote, I am the pump operator. I operate the pump. Who has two thumbs and helps water slash magma slash pressurized liquefied dwarf corpse gets to where it needs to go? This guy. I just hope I don't get killed by this guy. Skull Buggy wrote, Where would you all be without me? After all, somebody needs to clerk the, the cash. Journal of Royal W. Captain of the Static Paints and Overseer Pro Tem, Syrup Leaf, Winter, 140. Winter has beset us, and we are still under siege. We hear the pounding of feet against the cavern ceilings and walls, yet our work continues. Suddenly, the pounding begins to grow more faint. We began to wonder if they'd finally lost interest. Uh, nope. They found a bug. On another note, defense production continues along at a respectable pace. After ordering a supply of coke made, we've enough to begin refining steel around the clock. 
This made Vox very happy, as he now has something suitable with which to ply his craft. Vox Nihiline Bosoniden has created a masterpiece. As the year wound down, the spawn had finally lost interest in us and gave up their siege. Next time, we'll be ready. The relief of the siege ending was doubled by the announcement I received that said we were finally ready to begin farming operations. The fields are flooded from the cistern. Farm plots have been constructed on freshly irrigated ground. While it will take some time for our crops to yield brewable plants, we have the seeds in the ground. Soon, we'll be swimming in booze again. No more rationing. The fortress attracted no migrants this season. Unfortunately, the siege kept away any hopeful migrants this season. This is probably for the best, since our food stores are running low. The caravan should be coming soon, though, and with it, fresh supplies. Spring has arrived. With that, the year 140 draws to a close at Syrupleaf. I believe I've done all I can do from an administrative position. Therefore, I'll be stepping down, allowing another to take care of the day-to-day -day operations. Meanwhile, I'll be practicing with my new axe and plate mail that Vox made for me. Next time the spawn come, the static paints will be ready.